This short video is going to show you how to start the event monitor within SOBAS. So we're already connected to the LMS and we're logged in. We're logged in as client. We're going to click on the scan line so we can see the scan line. I'm going to click on auto zoom so it centralizes. And now I'm going to click on tools and select data recorder. I need to decide on a file name. Let's just call it test3. And we need to select the settings. We choose the sample rate. and the recording time. And we have to select Scan Data Monitor as our recording event. Now I can start recording. And if I put my hand in the scan line, you can see on the screen we're recording an event. If I now stop recording, what you'll notice next is if I click to play, we will go offline. So now I'm going to start to replay. We click on the start button. You can see it's showing back, playing back to me now the events we previously recorded. I can click on the time bar and play back from a different position. And if I choose, I can play it slower. And rather than have the visualization as a scan line, we could change that to dots. If you've got the display the wrong way around, by clicking on this icon here, we can switch so it mirrors. And if you want to see the coordinates in a different way, we can show them radially like this. And if the LMS is looking in the wrong direction, we can also rotate it. When you finish recording your data, you must remember to go back online. You can see here it's not synchronized and we're offline. So therefore there is no scan line, even if I click on here, there's no display to see. So I must go back online. I can now upload the parameters from the unit. And I can click my display line, auto zoom, and now you can see the unit's back online again.